Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I've worked in the IT field for over 20 years. And in this video, we're going to take a look at Cache OS versus Endeavor OS. And I've gone ahead and installed both operating systems. And we're just logged in for the first time and we're presented with these welcome screens. So what I'd like to do right out of the gate is just pull up the console here on both. And then I'll bring these to the middle so we can zoom in. And we'll just do a sudo pacman syu. Put in our super secret password. And it looks like we've got updates on both, so we'll go ahead and let these install. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and give both of these a reboot and I'll see you on the other side. All right, now what I'd like to do is go ahead and bring the consoles back up for each. I'm gonna drag these back to the middle. I'm gonna do a shutdown dash R dash T and the time will go with 250, 255. I'm gonna do a shutdown. Reboot time, 2.55. And what we're going to do is we're going to see which one reboots faster. They're both fresh off of updates, so this should be a fair test. Okay, it looked about dead even there. Okay, and when it comes to installing NVIDIA drivers, the Cache OS has these pre-compiled kernel modules. So you just do a sudo pacman s and then grab the module that you want to install to where on the Endeavor OS side, they've got this NVIDIA dash inst utility. So both pretty straightforward and easy way to get the NVIDIA drivers installed. And here's a look at system settings. Cache OS, we've got KDE Plasma 614, KDE Framework 650, QT version 6.7.2, kernel version 6.10.9-2, and that's on Waylon. On the Endeavor OS side, same thing. KDE Plasma 614, KDE Framework 650, QT version 6.7.2, kernel version 6.10.9-arch1 and that's running on Wayland. All right, let's take a look at HTOP. Neither one comes pre-installed, so we'll just do a sudo pacman s HTOP. Get that installed. Okay, we'll go ahead and run those. And if we look at our CPU, between one, two, three percent. Memory is about 1.2 gigs. On the Endeavor side, so if we had a little CPU spike, one, two, three percent. And the memory is at 1.25 gigs. 
Okay, and this next one, this has been requested for quite a bit of time now. Um, I've gotten some feedback in the comments. Folks are wanting me to use this B-Top application as well as H-Top. So this is B-Top. And um, on the Cache EOS side, our CPU is between 1% to 3%. Our memory that's being used is 1.41. And then it lists all the different processes that are running. On the Endeavor OS side, CPU 1, 2, 3%. Our memory that's being used is 1.49. And here's the list of processes. Okay, we'll take a look at the file managers. And this is largely going to depend on what desktop environment you install here. So we'll do About Dolphin. Help. And About Dolphin. Dolphin 2408.0, yeah, so they're the same. But uh, this is specific to the KDE desktop environment, the Dolphin application. You'll notice that the default themes for each are different. We've got the blue folders on this side, and then Endeavor OS has that purple theme. And let's take a look at the theme on each. On the Endeavor OS side, it defaulted to this breeze dark Endeavor OS theme, so I'm not really gonna change that. But for the Cache OS side, we've got this Cache OS Nord. So we'll go ahead and switch to that one. Hit apply on that. And now we've got this Nord theme. You can tell all the uh, fonts and the icons changed as well as the background. So we'll stick with that. Oh, and the, um, the bar at the bottom also changed. So we've got our super System settings. Since we're running Arch, we don't have this cover, so we can just unpin that. Clipboard contents, audio, network connection, and then our pop-out tray with the time next to that. On the Endeavor OS side, I've got Super, the Dolphin, Console, Firefox, system settings, and then to the right, we've got our firewall, clipboard, audio, network connection, our pop-out drawer, and then the time, as well as the peak at the desktop. And what this peak at the desktop does is if you open a few windows and you click on this peak at the desktop, it basically just minimizes everything so you can see the desktop. You press it again and they come back. Okay, let's take a look at the web browsers that are included. Let's bring those to the middle. We'll go to help and about. On both. And on the Cache side, we've got the Cache browser 130. And on the Endeavor OS side, we have Firefox browser 130. I should state here, the Cache browser is based on Firefox but it also includes security configurations and patches from Gentoo and LibreWolf. Okay, now to install packages, as I just stated, Arch does not come with Discover, which is pretty much the built-in GUI to go grab software that's built into KDE, the Discover app. What you do in Arch is you come into the packages site for Arch, so it's archlinux.org slash packages. And you come in here and let's say we're looking for something like OBS, so we'll just type in OBS, search. And you can look through the list and you see this OBS Studio, that's what we're looking for. So there's really no need to do that on both sides. So what I'll do now is I'll just open up console. We'll drag these to the middle. And what you wanna do is do a sudo pacman s and we're gonna type in this OBS-Studio cause we found that on the website, right? So we know that's the package name. Pacman S and OBS Studio. Go ahead and put in our password. Say yes for both. And it installed. So let's go click on Super Multimedia. And there's our OBS Studio. Super Multimedia OBS Studio. Alternatively, what we could do is we could go grab the Linux IT guy 
toolbox. So let's go to github.com, the Linux IT guy. We'll go into the toolbox. And we'll scroll down here. This is what the application looks like. So you basically, you can check next to whatever software you're looking for. If you don't see the software in the list, you can add it to the CSV file um, and it'll read it in. But what we want is this right here. So I'm just gonna open up a terminal again. Paste that in. And we'll do the same thing for the Endeavor side. Okay, so now we've got the Linux IT Guy toolbox. So what we'll do just as a demonstration is I can come down here and let's grab something real small. Yeah, we'll do MPV. I don't know if MPV is already installed or not, but let's just give it a test. So basically check everything that you want and then hit run. And it's going to go out and grab it for you and install it. Okay, applications have been installed and or removed. Hit OK. Now we can quit out of that. Okay, quit out of that. And we'll just do Super Multimedia. And then there's our MPV. Super Multimedia MPV. So that's just a quick rundown on how to get applications installed. You can go through the terminal or you can go and grab the Linux IT Guy toolbox. Pretty handy. All right, and now we'll do a fast fetch on each. And you'll notice I've hidden my local IP address on the fast fetch. If you're wanting to do the same thing, all you've got to do, let me up arrow through this fast fetch space dash dash gen dash config. Once you do that, it's going to create a config file that's located under home.config fast fetch config JSON C. And you can go into that. And if we scroll down through here, you'll see a local IP. I just did two forward slashes for to comment it out. And then you can do a control O to write that out, control X to escape. And then I always like to go back in and make sure it's saved. So you can do the same thing. And the comment's still there, so I'm gonna do a control X. All right, we'll clear this out and let's do a fast fetch again. Okay, on the cache OS side, we've got kernel 6.10.9-2. That's a cache kernel. On the Endeavor OS side, we've got Linux 6.10.9-arch1-1. And the packages are 10.12, and those are Pac-Man. Cache OS has 10.44. So about 30-something packages. The shell for Cache OS is fish 3.7.1. The Endeavor OS uses bash 5.2.32. Desktop environment, Plasma 6.14, that's the same on both. Both using Wayland. The terminal, console 24.8, that's the same. Memory, we're using about 1.97, almost 2 gigs on the Endeavor OS side. Cache side, we're using 1.66. It did install a swap partition by default to where on the Endeavor OS side we did not. Also, it defaults to the ButterFS partition scheme to where on the Endeavor OS side we've got the X4. As far as release cycles go, they're both rolling releases. Cache OS does have their custom kernel 
to where the Endeavor OS uses the Arch kernel. All right, let's take a look at the wallpaper. So you just right click desktop and wallpaper. I'll expand both of these out. On the Endeavor OS side, it's very bare minimum. Scarlet Tree comes with KDE and then they've got their Endeavor OS rocket ship. On the Cache OS side, we've got a few other ones. Abstract, Blue Feathers, Blue Lady, Green, Pink, Red, and then just some abstract pictures. You can pause the video if you want to look through those. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, check out these other ones. They're packed with helpful and informative information. This has been Chris, the Linux IT guy, and I'll see you in the next one.